Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about exercise 3.2 from the Murox Python programming book. This exercise involves the test scores program and it's going to require a nested loop. So this one's a little bit more complicated than 3.1. So again, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got and run the starting program to see what happens. Go ahead and click run the test score application. So again, um, I'm going to start with really simple data, 95, 90, 85, and it says enter 999 to end input. So I'm going to enter 999. So here are my total scores, the calculations of 95, 90, and 85, and my average score is 90, and it says buy. So all we're able to do is enter one set of test scores and get that one calculation. So if we look at the instructions, it says we need to enhance the test scores program so it lets the user input multiple sets of scores. To do that, use a nested while loop. So why do we need a nested while loop? Let's take a look at what's happening in the program. So the first few lines of code are our um, welcome message and our title for our program instructions on how to get started. We've initialized our variables, so we've got a counter, a score total, and test score equals zero, while test score not equal to 999. So we already have one while loop in here, and basically it's going to keep running through the list of test scores, as we see here, until the user types in 999. Okay, so that's going to keep going, and that's the reason we set test score to zero as our initializing the variable so that it will run the first time. Okay, test score equals int of the test score. Uh, we've got some validation here. If test score is greater than zero and test score is less than or equal to 100, so it's checking that it's between zero and 100, then we're going to basically calculate um, the running score total. So we've got score total plus equals test score. So every time we go through here, it's going to update the score total. It's also going to update the counter. Now, why do we need a counter? We need a counter because we need to do that division for the average score. So in this case, Total score total is going to be 270 because it's adding 95 plus 90 plus 85. And then we've got that counter, which will be set to 3 in this case, so that we can divide 270 by 3 to get 90. Then we have an L if. So if the input is not in between 0 and 100 and it is 999, we're going to break. So remember, break will break us out of the while loop. So it's not going to run that while loop. It's going to go immediately to the next line outside of the while loop, which is going to be to calculate that average score. Then we also have an else. So if it isn't between 0 and 100 and it's not 999, then we're basically checking to catch any other input that might be there and giving the message that, hey, we're not going to include this, try again. And then we have our printing out of the total score and the average score. So I'm going to run this one more time and I'm going to put some invalid information in, put 333, I'm going to put ABC, oh, ABC doesn't do it because we are converting it to int. So. Um, we aren't checking for uh, whether it is an integer, so that's fine. Um, that's just the, I haven't gotten to that point yet, uh, but I wanted to check and see what is going to fail. Okay, let me put in like 8,000, uh, let me put in negative 44, so I'm still going to get that message. So as long as I'm entering an integer, it will handle that. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, modify the program so when the user enters end, it ends the score, the set of score entries and outputs the total and average score. Then ask if there's another set of test scores to enter. Be sure to keep the validation for the number input. Okay, so 
basically instead of 999 we want them to enter end so that's the first thing that we're going to do I also put in some hints so recall that by default input comes over as a string variable check first if the input equals end with an if statement else change the variable to an int and evaluate from there okay because that's the that's kind of the tricky part here because what we're doing is we're putting in that test score and changing it to an int we're going to have to remove this since they're going to be able to write end so let's modify this first so that we can um, work with the end okay so I'm going to get rid of the int and keep it as the default uh, so I'm going to say enter test score enter end to end input enter test score maybe I'll just say it here or end to exit or to end input okay so I've got that now if test score okay I don't I don't want to do any of that stuff right now again I want to check to see if it says end first so my very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say if test score dot lower just in case they put in capitalized letters equals end I'm going to handle this one first I'm going to break okay we're going to exit out of the program then I'm going to say else um, I need to the first thing I need to do is change the input to an integer so I'm going to say test score equals int test score okay and then I'm basically going to use the same code for if test score is greater than or equal to zero in test score I'm gonna do the score total I'm gonna do the counter I'm gonna get rid of the elif because I've taken care of that up there and I'm going to put my else in here so again you want to make sure so not only are we going to ultimately have another while loop but we have an if with an if inside of it so that is a nested if so you really got to keep those um, indentations and I'm gonna fix my indentations here because for some reason the book exercises always come over as double indentations so I'm sorry if that's a little confusing but I like these to be right so I've got my while loop I've got my if with my else and then this is indented this is all indented and that part should work so what I'm going to do here I'm going to stop and I'm going to run this and see if it will work with my end so I'm going to go ahead and put 100 90 80 end okay perfect so that part is working I feel good about that but now I don't want it to kick me out and say bye now I want it to be another loop and ask me hey do you want to do another set okay so this is going to be very similar to our other our 3.1 we're going to basically take everything that we've got here and put it inside another while loop okay so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right here before the instructions okay so I'm going to say um, let's see repeat test score scores equals yes okay and that's my default so I'm gonna set the default for the while loop to run the first time and then I'm gonna put all of this inside while repeat test scores equals oh and put a lower in there too dot lower equals yes 
then I've got my colon. Now I'm going to have to take all of this. All right, and I'm going to go down here. The only thing I'm not going to put in here is the by. Okay, and then I'm going to click tab and that's going to bring everybody over one. Okay, so um, down here after print, I'm going to ask the question and keep that the same repeat test scores. It's a long variable, so I'm copying it. So repeat test scores equals input. Uh, would you like to enter another set of test scores? Y, N, and I'm going to put, a, oops, put another print statement in here. And I'm going to say um, goodbye. Thanks for using the test scores program. Okay, so um, this should work. I feel pretty good about that. My indentations all look good. Um, the only thing I get this right here, I'm just going to. Okay, so basically that's saying total score, score total, and then that slash n is going to be a new line, so that'll print on the next line. So everything looks good. Now let's go ahead and run this. Make sure it works. So here we go. Um, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, end. Okay, now what I recommend, especially when you're dealing with uh, testing out your programs, is grab a calculator and add all those up and make sure your calculations are correct. Uh, seems correct to me since I went from 100 to 50. That would make sense that my score would be 75. Would you like to enter another set? I'm going to say no and then it's going to tell me goodbye. Now I'm going to rerun it again. Do the same thing but this time I'm only going to put three in and I'm going to say yes. Uh, 85, 95, and 90 and end and there we go. So there you go. That's how you do that. All right. If you uh, followed along, got all that stuff correct, you're off to a good start with if statements and while loops. Don't be intimidated by these while loops. Just make sure that you set your default and you've got your while statement. And then at the end, within your while statement, that you ask for input so that it can continue to go through the loop until somebody exits um, using whatever your exit is. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Happy coding. Bye.